Hi everybody, welcome to another render demo, how to draw a video tutorial. Today I'll be taking you through how to draw the Forbidden City. So before you get started, grab a sheet of paper. And for this exercise, we could use a pencil. It's a regular uh, mechanical pencil, um, but I don't wanna have to go back and sketch over everything with an ink pen. So I'm just gonna go and start right off the bat with an ink pen. The other thing is um, I'm going to be using some rulers and this ruler here, it's a great ruler, um, although you just can't see through it. So I recommend um, finding a ruler that has um, the ability to see right through it. Um, so for this case, I'm going to be using my drawing basics uh, stencil here. And this also has some other curves and uh, shapes here that I could use for this drawing. So let's get started. So the first step, I'm gonna draw the base of our Forbidden City. And I'm going to start it, um, it's gonna be roughly about this tall. So if I figure out how tall it's gonna be and then try to get this in right in the center. And we can go from there. So I'm gonna draw the ground line first. I'm just gonna make a nice line from one side to the other. Okay, and then I'm going to go up something like this. This is where the stairs are going to be. And we'll start um, inward from that edge here. So I'm going to come in about this far and try to stop the same deal on that side. And then over here, we'll draw some vertical lines roughly about halfway that and like that and then we'll connect those lines with an angled line like this okay the next step is I'm gonna have a little ledge that comes off of that but just a little bit and it almost goes to the edge. So I'm just gonna leave a little bit of a space on either side. And this is why you wanna have a clear ruler so you can see, see your lines through. Okay, the next step, I'm going to draw a column on the left side and the right side and We'll draw it something like this. We'll come inward a bit from here. So we'll come up about, let's say I'm gonna use this line here as a guide, somewhere about here. Okay. And these columns will be something like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my pencil and draw a parallel line just so we have an idea of the height of all of those. And I'll go and draw a line, column on this side, roughly about the same width as the other one. Okay. And then what I want to do is make sure we have a space in the middle here. So roughly like you can be exact if you want but i'm just going to look roughly right around here is going to be my center so on either side of that i'm going to want to draw a column again trying to keep all these roughly the same width don't worry if you're off a bit and we'll draw one on this side. Just like that. Again, if you wanna go and measure, you can use the ruler and kind of measure out the spacings, make sure you, every one is the same. Now, <coughs> for this, I'm gonna to try to put two more columns in here. So I'm gonna rough these in. So I'm gonna to try to divide this space into two 
and this space roughly into two. And then I, either side of that, we'll do a column, something like that. Just like that. So that gives me kind of the starting point for all of these. I'm going to start on this side because I'm right handed and we'll move to the left so we don't smudge anything. So come down here, come down there. like that and the last one like that all right so there we go we have our columns and now I'm going to connect them at the top I guess you could we could have done this line here as well early on just to have that as a starting point there but and then from there, I'm gonna add a roof line or like just a wider shape here that all these are kind of on top of. I'll connect these on either side. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out. But before that, I think it might be better to draw another line so we'll go up about the same distance here. We'll come up another, and we'll extend this line over off, off the edge a little bit, all right? So we'll come across. And then that way we can connect these two. But instead of a straight line, I wanna have this as a bend. So I'm gonna do this manually. So I'm gonna kinda of curve that. And then I'm going to curve this like that okay then from here we're gonna come up just a little bit like that and then we'll draw one more line again what's nice is I can see through this plastic ruler that gives me a good gauge of how far off of that edge I am okay now we're gonna come inward, and I'm probably gonna start off on these inner columns here. So I'm gonna come up something like this right about here, like that, and this one here right about there. I'm gonna draw a line. So we're gonna do another long rectangular shape like that. I'm gonna come up a little bit thicker now. All right. And from there, we'll stop, we'll do this. So over here, we're gonna connect this corner to that. And again, it's not gonna be a straight line, it's gonna be a, a curve. So this one, we're gonna do like a curve in this direction. So we're gonna come up, curve. And the same on this side, we're gonna come down and curve. Okay, so now let's go and connect these corners here. And I'm gonna actually extend off a bit, like that. I'm gonna go up just a little. I know there's a lot of boxes here and connect this one like that all right almost done so now what we're going to do is we're going to draw one more box way up here this rectangular shape and for this one i'm going to come right about off of this pole this column here i'm going to come up somewhere about here and this one here somewhere about there all right so now we'll go and let's try to be parallel so that means the same angle that this line is we're going to try to go up be about the same again you can measure if you
you want to be exact, you can put your ruler there and measure. I'm just going to kind of wing it. So I'm going to draw a line across and stop at my marker that I put in there. And then I'm going to draw a little tiny line upwards like that vertically. And I'm going to connect those two together like that. Okay, and now we're going to draw another curve up in this direction. We're going to go up like that. And over here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come down like that. And if you want to use a pencil for this, that's that's all right. Just to make sure you have the right line, then you can kind of trace it with this, with this ink pen. Okay, so for the next step, let's add in some arches over here in between the columns. So I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to actually use my pencil. I'm going to draw kind of where the top of the arch will be. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a faint line, kind of like that. I'm not pressing too hard, but just so how it might be hard for you to see, but there is a line there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my circle guide. I'm going to try to find a circle that fits in between these, these columns. So you can see this one's pretty close. And you could go smaller. Okay, so what I'm going to do, all right, we'll draw a second line just to kind of help us out like that. So we're going to start right here like this. All right, and, and see these little guides around the circle? There's a little markers here. So that's going to be the center of the width of the column in between those two columns. So I'm going to go and curve like that. And then since these are smaller, I'm going to grab, find a smaller arch and do the same thing. So we're going to go from here up and over. This one's about the same. And again, you can do all this freehand if you want. And again, watch built behind the ruler. You can see the faint pencil lines. So you can keep all your arches about the same on the same level. Okay. Okay, there we go. And if you want to kind of touch up, there we go. So all of our arches peak all at the same location, just like that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inward of this. We're going to add some details here. So I'm going to freehand this a little bit. So I'm just going to try to draw a line inward of that shape a bit. So we're going to echo those lines. And this I'm just going to freehand. I'm going to come up like that. And if you want, you can, you can start these arches like that. I'm just going to freehand. I might leave that middle one for the actual ruler and use a circle guide for that one. Put these ones here, I'll just do that. And then I'll start again on the right side, just so I don't kind of guarantee I don't smudge any of these marker um, ink portions here as I slide, you know, across. Okay. How's yours looking? Guys uh, doing good over there? So you can see that one, I, I left that one because I'm going to finish the arch in a second. All 
All right, there we go. So I'm gonna grab my circle guide and try to find the, a match for this. I think this one might work right here. Just like that. Here we go. Looks pretty cool. All right, so let's draw some stairs from this center uh, doorway opening. So what we'll do is we'll draw, we'll find the center. Okay, so I'm gonna use my pencil just so we have that in here, kind of show that. All right, so on the left side, I'm going to draw a line on an angle and then another one right about here. And then we'll try to draw the same, but mirrored in this direction. So draw a line here and another one there. And then we'll draw one more from this door here. We're gonna come over, we're gonna push this line that's parallel. We're just gonna tilt it a little bit more to the left. And then this one over here, even more, a little bit more to the left, like that. And we'll do the same here. So we'll find this, we'll go parallel, and then we'll just turn that a little bit, like that. And then this one, a little bit more, just like that. And then over here, we can add some steps. I'm just gonna do some basic lines like this inside of each of those shapes. And then it's gonna come down a little bit. Just like that. And here I'm gonna make these all about the roughly the same distance apart from each other. Just make sure they're following all of your other lines in this direction. Okay, so there we have some stairs. Okay, now I'm gonna start drawing some, some more details. And what I'm gonna do is on my uh, template here, I have some box shapes that you can see right here. I'm gonna go and grab this smaller box. And you know, you can do this freehand if you want. Um, I'm just gonna put a couple boxes here and I'm gonna do them where these um, these arches kind of st intersect here. So something like this, like that. So you can see I'm, it's almost, there's a faint line here. So it's almost at the base of that line. Okay. And then we'll just do the same all the way across. Again, this would be really difficult if you didn't have a translucent, like kind of see-through ruler that you're using, because I can see right through, which is perfect. It really helps me kind of line things up. Okay, there's some box shapes there. Okay, now I'm gonna go and inside of this bar right here, I'm gonna add some detail. So right above each arch, I'm gonna draw a small rectangle and I'm just gonna freehand this. I'm just gonna do something just freehand. I'm gonna leave this one here, the gap, and just do the sides on either side of that main door. Like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some more boxes up over here, kind of like these little window shapes. And I'm just gonna again grab the same rectangular shape. And before I do that, let me, um, let's go ahead and in the center, let's draw a larger box in the center. So look at these lines here, these guidelines perfectly lined up to help me find the center. 
So I'm just gonna draw kind of like a nice big box there. And then on either side of it, I'll draw a vertical line. Like that. Okay, now inside here, we'll go ahead and add some boxes. I'm going to start from the outside and try to space these all equally because as I get to the middle um, it, it's going to be okay if I'm off a little bit and they're not all equally spaced um, in between that last that last window. So you can see it kind of worked out fairly nicely here. Okay, now I'm going to start close to here so we can make this make sure this looks good and symmetrical. And then we'll keep, keep on going. If you're left-handed, you can just do everything like starting on the opposite side that I'm showing. And I think I could fit two more here. Perfect. There we go. So we added some windows up in there. Okay. Now the last couple more things actually. We're going to draw some hooks, these hook shapes, these horn-like shapes on the corners of a few of these roof lines here. So I'm going to start by adding a corner piece here and go towards the center of the building. And I'm going to do that for each of these corners here. Like that. And these can all be about the same size. Okay. And then we'll do the same on this side. Like that, on the left, pointing in towards the right. Right over here, let's add these curves here from the corner of the roof down. We'll add another one here and go about halfway over here. So we'll add another little curve here. And we'll do the same on the left side. So we'll start over on the left and then we'll come in about halfway. Okay, and then one of the last details I'd like to do is just add some lines in the roof. So I'm gonna grab my ruler and I'm going to just start doing some lines from the top of my roof down. And these are fairly close together. Try to space these as equally as you can. And keep in mind, you know, let's make sure that they're all vertical and you don't start to like, you know, curve your ruler on an angle. So you can use some of the other lines that are on your page to help you line these up. Okay, don't worry if some are spaced a little wider than others, it's okay. There we go. And lastly, I'm just going to extend my ground line a little bit over on both sides. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to color this in now. So let's begin. So there you go. We just showed you how to draw the Forbidden City in a few simple steps using a ruler guide. And then we colored it in with some markers and added a few little details. Hope you liked it and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.